everybody, it's Stacy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming for the month of March. Yes, it has been a super, super long time since I have filmed a plan with me video and I'm super happy to be back with another one for you guys. Uh, summer just gets really, really busy and I like to spend as much time with my family outside, but Let's just move on from all of that and dive into the plan with me. So this month is kind of when COVID really started to happen. It was like the very beginning of everything for us. So the beginning of the month looks very normal. And then if things kind of start near the end of the month to look a little bit different, um, it's more April that kind of really changes for us here. But March is definitely the start of it. So to start off my spread, I am doing the bars at the top as well as the deco sidebar and then putting in the days that are not in the month. And I'm just going to kind of put in the holidays and then I like to do a highlight for each day of something that we did. So while I am setting up my monthly spread here, I am just going to quickly chat about my planner. So one of the reasons I haven't filmed a video in a while is the whole issue with Erin Condren and while I do have an Erin Condren planner, I no longer can um, support and promote be due to what she has done and I just kind of was a little bit nervous to, to film a new video but however I have made up my mind that this is the planner that I purchased. I spent a lot of money on my planners and I'm going to continue to use it. I also love having my entire year filled in because I look at back at my planners all the time. So I just have decided that I'm going to continue this year in my current planner and then I will reassess at the end of the year for next year. So I just kind of wanted to quickly say that quick thing and yes, let's just move on to the day to day. So starting in March on the 1st, we went bowling in the afternoon. We went bowling for my sister-in-law's birthday party. And then after bowling, we went to my husband's um, bigger gathering. They like to get together like once a month as a whole family. So we went there after and to mark the gathering, I just used a coffee cup because honestly, I don't even know what to use for gatherings. I'm curious to know, what do you guys use to mark your gatherings? Do you use food? Do you use coffee cups? I never really know. Um, I guess if it was like an outside gathering, I could use like a barbecue or something like that, but I think in March it was pretty cold. So. On the 3rd, I had a really bad headache, and that little girl is from Stick With The Plan Co Girl, and I'm super excited because she has opened her shop back up, and I really want to purchase some more stuff from her because her stuff is cute. On the 3rd, I got my hair done, and then on the 5th, I went for a walk in the evening and then I sent or sorry I made all the invitations for my daughter's birthday party. Uh, she was turning six on the 12th and we were having a little bit of a party with some of her classmates so I wanted to get all those invitations made. On the 6th we had a game night with our friends and on the 7th we painted our entrance. So my house is very newer and um, me and my husband built our house in 2014 but the entrance had a lot of like scuffs because it's where our basement stairs and then it goes upstairs go and just from like moving furniture and having kids and all that kind of stuff it was actually pretty scratched up so um, my husband filled in all the holes in the walls and then we painted it I know a lot of people told me that they couldn't tell the difference, but it was just something that, you know, you notice because you're living in the house. So it felt really good to get done, and I really, really am happy with it. On the 8th, I basically just stayed in bed and watched Love is Blind. I had a super, super lazy day. It has been so long since I have had one of those days where I just lounge in bed all day and just watch TV and eat all the snacks and probably planned a little bit but those are like some of my favorite days where I just get to chill. So to mark it I use that Netflix binge sticker and I forget where it's from. It was gifted to me by one of my planner friends and I forget where it's from so 
I'll have it linked down below for you guys though. I always try and link all the shops down below. On the 9th, I got my nails done. And then on the 10th, I went to yoga. And I believe this was my last yoga, or maybe I had one more of before COVID happened, which is really sad. And then we did go to Tim Hortons on Tuesday as well, which is a pretty much a Tuesday tradition for me and my kids. We like to go every single Tuesday. On the 11th, I baked cupcakes and I used a Millie Papery Co. Girl from her baking sheet to mark that. And then on the 12th was my daughter's birthday. So in the afternoon, we had her, her class party. We just had a couple kids come over and went to like an indoor playground and they do birthday parties there so it's really really easy and then in the um second box i just kind of wrote that it was her actual birthday which was really exciting we didn't have her uh, family birthday party until sunday i believe but it's very exciting i have a six-year-old now it's pretty cool uh, on the 13th i did a lot of book work and then we watched the Aladdin remake at home. My husband hasn't seen it yet. And I love it. I love, love, love. I think the live action movies are really good for like the people type movies. I just, I don't really like the live actions with the animals. Like Lion King, it didn't need to be a live action in my opinion. It was not my favorite thing, but I definitely loved Aladdin. I love Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast love 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 all the live action so we watched that and then on the 14th I did some filming and then we had a games night in the evening on the 15th we had my daughter's uh party with my family and I just liked the layering of the stickers for that I put it under a full box just to kind of add some more color and I think it turned out really cute on the 16th I just kind of had a bath in the evening and then on the 17th, I helped out in my daughter's classroom. This is the last time that I got to help out in there because at the end of this week was the week that she was done school. And then on the 18th, I had my tax appointment call. And I'm so happy that's all done because that's like my least favorite thing to talk about and to worry about is taxes. On the 19th, I baked pumpkin muffins. I loved them. They were super, super yummy. Um, they always had like that really crumbly um, cinnamon top. I really like them. They're super good. On the 20th, we went to my parents' house and had pizza in the evening. And then on the 21st, we had a games night. Games night are very, very common for us in the winter. We kind of do them pretty much every weekend, sometimes during the week as well. Our friends all like to get together and play board games. So they're pretty common, but in the summer we kind of dial it back a little bit and then get back into it in the winter time again. On the 22nd, I basically just planned all day and watched Grey's Anatomy, which is such a crazy thing because I don't do that as much anymore and I truly, truly miss those days where I'm just sitting and planning and watching TV. Summer definitely changes all of that stuff. So. That's what I was doing on the 22nd. On the 23rd, this is kind of like where my kids were now home from school. And I was definitely in the spring cleaning mode. So I decided to completely organize my daughter's bedroom. Which meant like taking all the toys out of all the shelves in the closet and everything like that. Taking everything that didn't belong in there. There was so much paper. She loves to draw on paper. She's super into drawing and writing notes and all that kind of stuff but she keeps everything and everything seems to have a lot of value to her so trying to teach her that we can't keep everything <laughs> that we make because it's just a lot it's quite a bit so we keep some stuff but then we got rid of a lot of stuff and we just kind of like wash baseboards wash doors all that kind of stuff give the whole room just a fresh feel for spring on the 24th, um, my friend Ashley came over and we played the board game Villainous. And on the 25th, I did a social media course and it was my mother-in-law's birthday. On the 26th, I went for a walk in the evening and I really like how I layer that sticker on a full box. Just It's such a small sticker, but I think I really liked the patterns in all the full boxes and I kind of wanted to add more color into it. So that was a great way to do that. 
On the 27th, my mom brought over cinnamon buns for us in the evening. So on Saturdays, we usually go for breakfast with my parents. And one of the things that we usually get are cinnamon buns at the restaurant. And since COVID, we weren't able to go to a sit-down restaurant, which has been really sad. So my mom baked cinnamon buns and brought them over so that we could still have our quote-unquote Saturday breakfast. So that I thought that was super special and nice. I loved that. On the 28th, we got to cook hot dogs on the fire for the first time this year, which was very, very exciting. I have a picture of it and there was still snow in the background, but we were itching to make some hot dogs on the fire. And if you are from Canada as well, even if there's snow, you are outside because any little warm weather is so nice. And then on the 29th, I just kind of puzzled most of the day. And on the 30th, I went for a walk with my mom and dad in the evening. And then on the 31st, we just played outside. So definitely the start of springtime for us in this month. It was such a great month. Um, did a lot of things in the beginning. In the end, just kind of did a lot of chilling and relaxing, which was also really nice. So right now, I am filling in with pen my entire um, spread and then I'm going to go in and fill it in with some washi just to kind of fill in those extra spaces. I'm using all Simply Gilded washi this month and I'm going to go in and put my date dots as well and I'll be right back. I just love how the monthly spreads turn out when they're all filled with washi and they're really busy. I love how that turns out. I'm curious to know if you guys like seeing monthly spreads or if it's not really your jam. I know a lot of people don't really like watching monthly spreads, but some people do. I do myself. So if monthly spreads are not your thing, please let me know in the comments down below or if you still want to see them, let me know that too because I will gladly film them if you guys like to see them. Okay, so also working on my notes page now, and I'm filling in the currently section. I have this section here for what happened in the month, just kind of putting some highlights down. I have a goal section and then a birthday section. I really like how these monthly notes pages look. They're super, super cute. And then on the right-hand side, I like to add pictures. So I have one of those Canon uh, photo printers that I can do off my phone and I just kind of print a few pictures. I have noticed though that since we are staying home more that I don't take a lot of pictures so I was having to be definitely more mindful about taking pictures which I don't usually have to be. So taking pictures of things like my kids even just playing board games or my kids playing on their bicycles or that kind of thing which is things I don't usually take pictures of because they're just things that we do all the time, but I've definitely been trying to take more pictures of stuff like that because these are the memories that we had that month and I want to remember that because this is a very different time than usual. So 
Um, so this month I didn't have a lot of pictures, but hopefully in the next few months I will have taken more. So I've been trying to definitely be mindful of that. So uh, for my notes section for this month, I put that it was um, Cheyenne's sixth birthday. I put that COVID-19 change started, um, that school moved to homeschool or distance learning, and that we had hot dogs around the fire for the first time, which was all very exciting stuff. For my currently section, I put that I was watching Love is Blind, The Circle, and Impractical Jokers. We watched a lot of like very short shows, short series, um, so that's what we were watching. I was reading The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series, which is so, so good. If you like Harry Potter, that's definitely a series that you need to check out. Um, I ate a lot of popcorn, like that Chicago mix popcorn. That was kind of my thing for March. Uh, I was listening to a lot of ebooks, um, still into the audiobooks, so I was listening to a lot of those. Uh, feeling very anxious this month and loving puzzles. I was doing tons and tons and tons of puzzles this month, which was awesome. And then for my pictures on the other side, I just kind of put some of that um, Simply Gilded washi on the top and the bottom. They had this washi that was like this mince color and the purple with the gold bows, and I thought it was perfect for this kit. It just kind of matched all the colors encompassed it very, very, very well. So I put that on the top and the bottom. And then I have four pictures. I have the cupcakes that I made for my daughter's birthday, which we called the mermaid cupcakes. Um, they were supposed to be like unicorn cupcakes, I guess. She really wanted a unicorn theme. And then um, a picture of her opening her presents at her birthday party. And then having fun at the indoor play center as well as a picture of my daughter and my son doing distance learning and working at their workbook. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!